In the mid 20th century, a new design philosophy emerged, organic modernism. Organic modernism embraced and incorporated design with all of its random imperfections and natural flowing shapes. This radical new style spanned many disciplines, architecture, furniture design, and fine art, including ceramic art. In ceramic art, one designer from California's Central Valley stands out above the rest, Stan Bitters. Just start, throw the clay down, get on it. It's going to tell me what to do. That's generally the only way I work. They demand drawings and I kind of do some wiggle things, but it ends up that I do what I do and that's what you get. I think the goal tends to lead in different directions, like uh, medallions tend to be very organized and deliberate graphic statements like the Duncan Project because of being contained within a very definitive form. So that demanded a certain attitude. When we show a client his work is with something very specific in mind. Clients that really appreciate the handcrafted who really appreciate the tradition in California of arts and crafts. I also tell them that it's incredibly organic, that it's of nature. His work, I think one of the things that sets it apart is that it's very muscular. It's masculine, strong, the scale is something that is very unique. When I introduce him to someone, I don't say he's a ceramicist. I say he's a ceramic sculptor. Only in terms of being very earthy. You know, I've been categorized as being uh, not only earthy, but kind of gross in terms of how I respond to the material. And uh, I do that because I want as many times as I can to retain that look and attitude of clay and what it is. He explores in a way that most studio clay artists don't, where he takes risks, and sometimes it doesn't work, but many times it comes out with a beautiful result. From very primitive to very sophisticated, from small birdhouses to giant sculptures. Built in 1964, the Fresno Fulton Art Mall, with 80 seating areas, two playgrounds, 19 pieces of art, seven arbors, and 144 trees, was the world's largest and most diverse outdoor art museum, public park, and mid-century modern pedestrian promenade. Stan Bitters was involved in the creation of the mall, and along with Joyce Aiken of Fresno, was one of its youngest featured artists. His ceramic fountains gave a dynamic energy to the mall, which was qualified by federal and state agencies to be placed on the National Register of Historic Places. Stan Bitter's work represents a lifetime of experimenting and observing and creating always striving to be more than just relevant, but engaging and provocative. From the whimsical to the majestic, from the sacred to the profane. Spanning two centuries and still as intriguing today as the day they were first created. Fresno is a sense of belonging, growing, a relation to people, to earth, contemplative and directed.